wonderful world of woodworking for Carbotech and today I thought we'd cover some hand plane ideas. There's a lot of discussion around about hand planes and which is be best, is it bevel up or bevel down, should I have a Yorkshire pitch, should I have a 60 degree pitch, should I go um, micro bevel or full bevel and is it a long plane, short plane, whatever. The interesting thing with hand planes it came to me last night. It's very much like golf. Now, if you want to play a round of golf, you don't just buy one club. It could be argued if you had a number seven, you can play a round of golf with a number seven. And possibly can. In fact, I had a mate that did. But it is so nice to have a driver in your bag, a pitching wedge in your bag, a putter in your bag. So, all right, there you could get away with four clubs, I guess. If you've got a number seven, it could do as a pitching wedge. Let's say a sand wedge, okay. A number seven, a sand wedge, a driver, and a putter. You can play a reasonable game of golf with those. You can't quite get the finesse, but you can adjust with the clubs you've got to the terrain you find yourself in. If you're anything like me, you're always in the sand, in the trees, or in the water. Much is the same with hand planes. I know there is a school of thought out there that the number plane is a uh, number four plane. is a wonderful plane. For me, I think it is the worst choice of any plane. And the reason for that is because of what people think it is. They think it's an all-round plane. So, oh, you can do smoothing with it. You can shoot with it. You can... Uh, put bevels and everything on with it. And that's true, you can do all of that. But because it's trying to be everything, it really doesn't do any of those things very well. So first of all, and I'm, I'm, as I said in the description, this isn't the uh, be all and end all. These are my opinions, my experience, and what I've developed over 35 odd years of being a woodworker. So take it with a grain of salt if you like, but it might also give you a bit of insight into which way you want to go if you're going to be buying some more tools. The other thing before you start looking at planes, look at what is it that you want to be doing in woodwork. There is a plethora and lots of choices as well of different areas you can work in woodwork. So if you wanted to make small boxes, little boxes. All you would need would be a block plane. If you want to make slightly bigger boxes, you possibly could go for a five and a quarter or a number three on a block plane. If you want to make chests, then I would suggest you would go for a number six or a number seven, and maybe a number three, and a block plane. All my furniture career, all I really needed, I've got over 60 different planes that get used in my workshop, but all I really, really needed was three planes. That'd be a number seven, a number three, and a block plane. Out of that, I would say the block plane would be equal to a number seven club, because I can use that for so many things. But the number seven and the number three are for me the driver and the sandwich because sometimes you just need that extra base. Mm -hmm. 